battery on, you put another one in, that's great. But if you put a battery of higher amps or higher or lower amps, the car won't turn on or either you will burn the cabling within the car. So same thing happens with technology. You could tell this guy, you know, he just come out of high school. He took a little course of computers, you know, install me this windows, click, click, enter. And he'll might do it. But maybe you tell him, you know, implement me this security infrastructure net layer of communication. And I want to have these protocols and he'll go like, yeah, well, I'll do it. You know, he'll go there. He, he'll might try to figure his way around and he'll tell you he did. And you don't know if he did or he didn't. And the thing is, he might not. And if he did, he might not have done it right. And that's the same thing. So, so that's what we're trying to say when we are talking about uh, what are the problems out there with uh, this thing of networks, communications, and protocols. So, resumming, the problem is, there's a lot of technology out there. People are not implementing it right. And by doing so, they're putting your information, my information, in risk. So that's what we're going to try to cover here. How do we protect us from that? And how we give a little bit of knowledge to these companies out there so that they understand that we are concerned. We are concerned that our information is in his company and what is he doing to keep our information secure. That's the idea. All I want you to do from all this video is to understand my information should be secure. And when I'm putting it in the hands of other companies, I want to make sure that company is doing as much as they can to keep that information secure because it's my information and it is also the company's information because remember when we started I said it's two parts it's the company and it is the, the individual you know if the hacker gets into his, his company is also going to hack his information as a company so it could get bank accounts it could get information of that company and put it at risk the company so that's what we're talking about. It is risk out there when we don't have a nice infrastructure of networks set up and uh, coordinated in a way that they are secure, that they are usable, because you can't have a network so secure that it's not usable, but you need to have it secure and usable. And at the same time, be able to project to our customers and our people, listen, our infrastructure is secure and we are protecting your information. We appreciate your business we appreciate you the trust of giving you that information to us and we're also returning that by securing us in the way that we can make you feel secure so that's that's what it is so let's let's begin with the with the, with the topics about hacking and securing and, and all this so the first term we're going to cover is right so the first thing we're going to cover is who is the vulnerable person within or entity within this? Who is vulnerable? Who is the vulnerable people, person, company? Who is it vulnerable? That's good. We need to understand that. It works this way. I just said, when you have two, two entities, you have a person and you have a company. But you also have the owner of the company. You know, people or companies... I want to keep it in this level of, of communication, company, people, you know, because that's what it is. The, the problem lies within there. So when it is the person that gives the information to the company, the company might think, you know what? I don't really care that much because it's not my information there. It's their information there. And if they do think like that, they're wrong. Because remember, their information is there, but also your company's information is in there. So it works this way. When you have the company have the information of that person entrusted on you, the hacker will probably get in there or the cracker and it will be accessing your infrastructure. And by doing so, it could either put your company at risk or that customer at risk. And you will say, well, yeah, but if it goes in and takes the information of the person, how would it really affect my company? Or if it, if it goes at your company and it goes into your bank accounts, bank accounts of your company, and if it goes into your information of your company like privilege quotations or, or contacts or maybe um, sales, hey, what if it goes into your payroll and increases some people's payroll? What if it goes into your 
to 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 do checks and it makes you do a check to a person that is not even related with your company you know remember when companies are big you might have uh certain layers that eventually you will find out that that check was done that's not what you want to do you don't want to do it in the first place so these layers of security have to be implemented so they can protect you from both things that that person doesn't get hacked or or attacked and that the company doesn't get vulnerable or attacked so that's what what we're trying to say who is vulnerable who is vulnerable the person that is entrusting you with the power of his information and the company that it is using that information or the personal information of the company as himself, as an entity. Okay, so going to the other to topic. To do this, we gotta first start explaining, we gotta start explaining how this works. When we have this technology out there, we un we ask ourselves, okay, Dario, you're already telling me and you're trying to tell me is people out there that's gonna tag me and you're trying to tell me is people that is in within my infrastructure is going to be attack but when you're talking about attacks you keep using terminology that i don't understand what are we in iraq and it's going to bomb for of what is this well it doesn't work that way it's not that it's not iraq so it is this though what we're trying to say is this okay we have certain groups out there and these groups are organized i'm telling you they're organized some of them work as separate entities as one person uh, army but some of them are groups and they are organized i'm telling you and 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 they are well 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 skilled uh this is the way it works we have two groups these are the major groups out there there are the hackers and there are the crackers uh, i'm gonna try to give you some knowledge of how they work because remember we are ITS. They're on the other side and we're on this side. So uh, we have to know our enemy in order to be able to deal with them. Uh, within the community of hackers, starting with the hackers. Hackers are a group. It's a different type of group. They have a certain way of attacking. Their attacks are about power. A hacker is all about power. He wants to get in your infrastructure. He wants to get control. Hackers are all, all about control. Uh, they're not really about gathering information. Probably if you get a hacker to do something for you, will not probably be the best person to, to, to help you out if you're trying to gather information. Because they probably will be able to help you. Because remember, it doesn't mean they don't have maybe some cracker skills, but they are most likely hackers. and. Hackers do what? They get in your infrastructure, they get control. Maybe they want to get control of your administrator so that they could have domain power on your network. They may, they might want to get in your router uh, to down your router, disconfigure it, bring it down so you have no communication. Hackers like to get in and get control. They damage, they like to go in there. They will not go to your database and try to hack your database but they will probably get in your database and try to knock down your database. They will, they, they will get in your infrastructure, they will show you that they have the power of getting in there, and they'll probably leave back doors so they could do it in the future, and they will get there and damage. That's what the hackers is all about. Well, hackers now, because this is incredible, they have developed this new skill of, of splitting in three different entities now. Uh, now you got the black, hat hackers now you got the gray hat hackers and now you got the white hat hackers they're still all bad you know it's not, I still don't see and understand how can you contract or and I seen this and I heard this people contracting hackers so that they could help them to uh, enhance their networks you know I can't conceive this when you have ITS is there honest people decent people out there trying to do the right thing you're gonna contract the bad guy to help you out to develop a way of securing your infrastructure. What you're doing is you're giving him more knowledge. So now he has more knowledge so he could share with his with his community and, and get more power. That's the way it works. That's what you're doing. So this is the way it works. When you go to the black hat hackers, uh, these are like the real bad guys. These are the nasty guys. These are the ones that will get into your network they are not friends of nobody. They will just do what they want to do. 